Parks Canada staff are patrolling the Gulf Islands from the air. They're looking for fires before they burn out of control. The islands are especially vulnerable during the hot, dry weather. A News reporter Astrid Brown but joined the Parks Canada staff as they flew over Saturna Island this afternoon. From the air, the view of the Gulf Islands is breathtaking. But we're not flying for fun today. We're with Parks Canada staff looking for what could be a disaster. And from the air, you can really pick up a very small fire. The Gulf Islands are tinder dry. On the ground on Saturna Island, you can see why. The grass is bone dry early on. We call it curing. So it's, you can see a little bit of green in here, but it's, it's probably 90% cured through most of this tall standing grass. And this is perfect fire fuel. Over the last few days, Parks Canada has flown over the most vulnerable areas, keeping a watchful eye. Daily flights will continue during the heat wave. We're lucky in that the humidity's gone up from what it was over a few days and the temperatures have dropped a bit, but you can see it's still really windy. We haven't had any real rain since the middle of June. All of these islands are, are really vulnerable. So everything's very, very dry. And if you get a, an ignition in here, if someone tosses a cigarette into this dry grass or something like that, the wind will take it and move it very quickly into the trees. And of course, the island's got lots of homes and people and the things that they value on it. So there's still really significant risk. People shouldn't relax because the weather's changed a bit. The last time an island lit up was in 2006. A 61 hectare fire tore through Galliano Island, forcing evacuations, a real sense of emergency. Most of the fires spotted from the helicopter are illegal campfires. Park staff say the risks definitely outweigh the costs. At roughly $2,000 per hour in the chopper, Walker says it's worth every penny. If we find a fire, that helicopter with a, with a water bucket, with a Bambi bucket, will be the most effective suppression tool we could have. So it's not just an eye in the sky. It's also a way to attack a fire if we find one. Have you noticed anything this afternoon yet? No, we haven't seen anything today. For now, a huge sigh of relief for the Parks Department as we move into another stretch of scorching and windy weather conditions. Over Saturna Island, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.